Hey y'all, it's Miranda, and I know I'm, I've been in my missing in action for some weeks now. Ever since I went to flight attendant training, um, I have not really been able to do a lot of videos. I've just been like bogged down with so much stuff and just, it's, it, that's a whole nother story. So I will make a video talking about flight attendant stuff. Um, but right now, this video is about life after cancer. Today is August 17th, 2016. It's been two years since I cut my hair. And uh, today was the first day that I was able to actually slick my hair back into a ponytail. I mean, it's a little tiny ponytail, but it is a ponytail. Um, slicking my hair back into a ponytail was a, a big deal to me. That's how I wore my hair all the time. So today... Being able to slick my hair back in a ponytail felt like an accomplishment. It like felt really good. It took me a long time to do it. It took me almost an hour to get it like all to go into this right here. Um, but I did it. However, on the flip side of that, when I look at myself in the mirror with my hair slicked back, like from the front, like straight on like this. Like if I, if I lift my head backwards, it looks like I don't have hair. I mean, I have a really big forehead. My husband says my forehead is big because I have a big brain. Um, but genetically, uh, my dad had a big forehead. My brother, my sister, both of my brothers and my sisters had big foreheads. It's just a huge thing. We have big foreheads. But anyway, sometimes I just get distracted. So what I was saying is that flicking my hair back, when I look at myself, it gives me flashbacks of being bald because I can see what I look like bald. Like when I hold my head like this and you don't see any hair, I look like I'm bald. But when I go like this, you can see that I have hair. And because my forehead is so big, it's like my hairline looks like it's receding. You know what I mean? Um, it's just... It's just a, a really weird thing. I know that might sound like really stupid, but I just wanted to share that because that's how I'm feeling. I feel accomplished because I can put my hair in a ponytail, but I also feel like ugh, I, it just reminds me of being bald. So I don't know. I think I'm going to try to wear my hair slick back in this ponytail for a few days and see if I continue to feel that way. It's a really, really weird thing to look at yourself and to see yourself like you were bald, like when you were going through chemotherapy, like when you were going through the whole cancer bit, um, it just brings back flashbacks. And I'm really glad that I went through all the different types of therapies that I went through because I can see myself and not like relive not relive the hurt and the pain. It's like I'm reliving, reliving it from a safe place. And it's not causing me any pain, but it's just the memories. I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. I don't have the words. And I'm sure other people probably feel the same way. I don't know. Um, I haven't talked to anybody about it. This just happened today. This just happened like this is hot off the press. This is I just slicked my hair back in this ponytail. And when I looked at myself and saw myself, I was like, oh, my God, it reminds me of when I was bald. So yeah, but that's where I am. So the cup is like half empty, half full. I am still getting used to life after cancer two years later. Um, physically, I feel very strong. I feel good. Um, some days I'm a little tired. Um, but for the most part, I do feel really good. I miss my friends at the Cancer Support Community Center. I miss my sisters. Um, I haven't been able to go in a really long time. Um, I am just, I'm staying physically active. I walk every day. I walk through airports every day. I walk far to get to my crash pad. I mean, I, I do a lot of walking. I'm physically active. Um, I don't do a whole lot of working out. I still do push-ups. I still do things to work on my range of motion um, as a flight attendant, lifting bags. And I, I do a lot of physical activity. So I'm staying physically fit as best as I can. Um, as far as my eating habits, I'm still eating pretty good. I definitely eat a lot of fruits and vegetables every single day. Um, I usually start my morning off with some sort of fruit. And I usually end my day with 
vegetables and fruit. I, I take a tablespoon um, of Nutriburst every day, um, which has a lot of fruits and vegetables in it as well. Um, I just, I, I try to do everything that I can to stay healthy as possible. And I'm taking care of myself and I'm feeling good. And life after cancer is pretty good. I'm on a whole new journey as a flight attendant and it's great. Um, I'm sharing that to say that um, no matter what your dreams are, whatever it is that you think you might want to do, um, if you want to be an underwater basket weaver or whatever, you can do that. Um, nothing can stop you but you. So if you've always wanted to be a pilot, go to pilot school. Learn how to fly and just start flying. You're not, you don't have to be stuck in whatever career you're in or whatever it is that you're, you know, we're doing prior to cancer. You don't have to stick with that. You can do something else. There are other opportunities that you can explore. And that's what I'm doing. So right now I'm a flight attendant. Next week I might be a ballerina. Who knows? We'll see. Over and out. It's Miranda. Take care of you. Never give up.